Welcome yourselves. So wonderful to meet you and uh, to, to meet a, a woman that's got such experience in the blockchain crypto world. Uh, I'm really honoured. Um, first uh, blockchain engineer in HSBC. I did live in London for a couple of years, uh, so I know what a big uh, organisation they are. Um, what's it like being uh, such a pathfinder or a pioneer as a woman in the blockchain world? Um, I guess um, <laughs> yeah, it was, um, I think it was a really interesting ex experience and I actually yeah. no, to be honest, I'm not the um, first of the everything at all like there are so many people um, working ahead of me and then so I learned really a lot like Fantastic. Uh, yeah so mm -hmm. so you feel like you're part of a community yes of course <laughs> yeah yeah and um you, I know you know a lot about the Korean um, crypto world or crypto market would you educate me a little bit about that yeah sure the so Korean market um uh have been have been affecting the entire market and the, right. especially the price quite a lot like right. uh, so the with the um, recent um, entire band exchange band actually affect uh -huh. the market like uh, 60 percent of the market could disappear and all those like i think it's really affect the market so and is the that why the prices around. were shooting up so much yeah there are two um regulatory environment change recently which one is the chinese government that really shut down the old OTC yes. and then the starting the chasing down the which so that was the one and the other one is the Korean government made announcement of the, that the old exchange should be shut down right. and then the, that's a really like, I, extreme I that. yeah. yeah and then yeah. that like um, dramatically changed the market a lot and right. yeah but thinking of the Korean market that you maybe the now the number is different but they used to the 70 to 80 percent of the ripple trading volume happening in Korea wow. and also the my second one is the um, even the ether, when it got the price really momentum last year, it was the sixty percent of the uh, Ethereum trading. It were also happening in Korea. So right now, still the with the all the downturn, um, downfall is the Korean market is the five percent of the entire trading volume. All happened in the Korean one again wow. against Korean one. Yeah. yeah, and then so Korean, yeah, the Korean has market has the. Um, yeah, the, all the premium as well, which is the right. forty to five fifty percent more expensive, right. which actually driving the the um, yeah the price going yes, up and yeah. the, even the internationally. Yeah. Yeah. So altogether, Korean markets the regulatory environment changes to really affect the market a lot. So maybe for the investor can maybe take some look at them. Um, pay attention to the Korean market. What's, I guess I've been. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine yeah. what people are doing it. But yeah, so, yeah but I yeah. <laughs> well, thank you again for coming, and I'm I'm really looking forward to the panel. I'm sure it'll, you'll be a great contribution. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much.